Hello, hello! Welcome back to Vaguely Television Plays Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, Mario joined the, basically, the UFC, and now he's just trying to move up in the power range changes. So uh, as take a great out Gonzalez. That's, I mean, uh, that's a great Gonzalez. Goal, right? Like, as soon as you get that title, you know you're a champ. Yeah. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> I mean, hey, the contract says he can't, uh... Exit with little bit. I like how it's not until you win or anything. It's until rubber kicks you out. Yeah, so basically once you become champs, you're stuck there until, you know, you start losing and he hates your guts. Yeah. I guess the best way is just to not respect whatever, he, like, kind of thing he tells you to do. You know, the special, oh, you gotta not stomp enemies. Like, always disrespect it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you're out. He's gonna hate your guts real quick. He might keep you just because of it, though. Oh, here are the three groupies. Yo, let's go. Let's get some digits, boys. We're the rough and tumble, battling and traveling sisters through- I don't want the digits anymore. Yeah, no, honestly. Oh, uh, uh, that what? might have been our match as well. Dude, that is insulting. The disrespect. Some hot fu Okay, okay. Okay. We, now I kind of want to impress them. Yeah, now we have to impress them. Oh, Ooh, no. Kick the ink coupon. No, dry shroom, dry shroom, kick the dry oh, shroom. Oh, you're right, we had to buy a dry shroom. Yeah, no, that, This is that the worst go. thing ever. Uh, that's gonna be our penis after we're done with these three. Oh, no. Why would you say that? <laughs> I, I thought of it. I honestly question. Like, you, you know when you have a joke and you're like, should I say it, should I not? Hey, you should have said that's, the, that's our penis when we faint of Denver digits. Fair, fair. But no, we already said we want to impress them, you know. Crap, that's true. We, we would not fool anyone by pretend- Like, by playing it cool at this point, we would not fool anyone. We already admitted to everything. Yeah. I'm sure, though, once we impress them, we will not care about them anymore. That's true. So then you have all the rupees in the world. Yeah. I'd love to be able to fight them, though. Because, like, they're technically fighters from what they say, right? Yeah, I think it's a bit more, you know, they say stuff depending on where they are. Okay, okay. So they're complete posers. Uh, that's my take, okay, at fair, least. Fair enough. Like, it's those kind of people who, like, as soon as you travel somewhere with them or anything, they're like, Oh, I really know this thing, like... I'm um, a big fan of this specific thing. It's just, yeah. like, your daddy has a bunch of money and they can go wherever he yeah. wants. Or maybe they just, like, watch one YouTube video the day before. <laughs> just so they can kind of talk... Have, like, a few talking points. That's And true. hopefully no one with them actually knows anything about it. What do we have to do in this fight? I think it tells you when the fight starts, hopefully, because I did not read. I hope so. The bone, bone banging, banging rockers. rockers. Oh my god. He gives these people such terrible titles. Yeah. We're gonna take the skin off your bone. Wow, that's actually very dark. It is. It, like, if someone told me that and they're a skeleton person, I don't know if I'd be too, too happy. Okay, okay five turns or less. Okay, that's honestly... Okay, so this is gonna be... Might as well not give us any restrictions, because it was gonna happen anyways. Yeah, like, come on, he's a merciless executioner. Like, there is no mercy to be found. You're also, dead. actually thinking about it, yep. why is he considered, like, the sole person in his team for the niche name and everything? Oh, that's true, but yeah. But he we... has a teammate! Because we are the break on... Like, it seems like everyone has their individual names. But there's also, like, the team name, right? That's the thing! I guess... I, I mean, come on. Grubba has a good eye for... You know, he spotted us. He saw that Mario was cool. And the rest was a complete shit fest. That's true. He was like, okay, her, no thank <laughs> Yeah, you. he looked at Goombella and was like, no, that's just a Goomba. Terrible. This, this Koopa? Like, Chain K is better than this guy. Yeah, and Chain K sucks, like, bro. Chain K is terrible. And he's 20 times better than Koops. <laughs> I'm not giving this guy a name. <laughs> And then he, I think he just took, mistook Flurry for like a back alley prostitute who was following yeah, Mario for was his like, Okay, payment. so he's paying for an escort, like, fair enough, who yeah, cares? it's like, I don't really mind, but, you know, I'm not gonna give her a fighting name or anything. She's clearly not a part of this. And like, an hour she's back on the streets. This man is like, the biggest hype guy dude, ever. I like this dude. Double G doc, you know, every time you do something good, he tells you good job. You even beat him and he's still like, on your side. I love this guy. Yeah, no, he's fantastic. What's up? What's, what's going on? What? Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's through the door, outside. right? Yeah. At first, I thought it was just two people in the locker, probably, you know. Yeah. <laughs> going so, at it? <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe one of the groupies uh, managed to get in. 
they no, they don't care about the minor leaves, right? That's true. Well, maybe it's one of a not so good looking rupee. Oh no, <laughs> who could not get anyone in the major leaves? So you know, she she took what she could. Speaking of uh, the lockers and stuff, it's weird how there's footmarks on the wall in the locker. Right here, you mean? Yeah, and and one of the lockers that's busted, like uh. someone had a baby rage fit, like. It, yeah, he was he, on the ground. I, I think it was probably like year one of realizing that he would never leave this place because Grubba was not releasing him. <laughs> and then he decided to throw a fit in the hopes of Grubba releasing him. And like, then it didn't work. Yeah, like maybe, oh, if I damage this property, he might kick me out, right? And Man, then it's... Grubba just sent him to the toilet rail or something <laughs> instead. Legit just sent him to jail. Yeah, he was like, no, nah, now you're cleaning the toilets and you sleep in jail. Okay, who is it this time? Strabby. Ranked 15 in the Glitz Pit, the Mind Bugglers. Who's that? I have no clue. Most names you kind of know what's going on. Yeah. But he said no flower, no flower points. points. God, just use a Star Crystal. No, I already just used it. We we don't yeah, have any power anymore. Wasn't it just a one star cost? No, it's the it two star two. cost. It's the yeah. two SP. Damn. Yeah, we're just stuck having to actually do... Wait, this is going to be a slow fight. Oh, okay, that's why for the mind bogglers, they lost all their color. <laughs> it's just a bad assortment of people from uh, the puny village. For sure. I think their main weapon is giving us PTSD of having to, you know, work with the punies again. Or, you know, the spider just reminding you of that time you could not jump on it for the life of you. Do not use FP. No, it's not no star power. Oh, no star. Okay, okay. I thought it was no FP. Sorry. Last time was no uh, FP. This time it's uh, no star power. Are you sure? Because I really feel like it's no FP this time. Trust and we just me. went over it. Trust. Like you said no, no. I just said like I just use the two SP thing, so we can't use the bid. Okay. You know what? You know what? You're we'll right. With it, but I'm like 100% sure. You're 100% sure yeah. right. Yeah. Because we just went over the fact that it's bad since we already used the SP. That's true. And we I can't baited use that myself. So. I baited myself. I just wanted some more PTSD f uh, oh, because I, I, of these guys. No, it's just you hate them so much you want to bash your skulls in the second time. There we go. Merciless. And Merciless? Is that it? Merc. I think it's merciless. You know what? Let's not dilly daddle on, on that word. Merciless. Executioner Mario. Back on track. There we go. Um. I feel like it's weird. Like, is a cloud ever colored? No. Do He's only fight colored when you fight though? him and he becomes electric. Maybe. And then like, there's just a bit of yellow around him. Alright. Like, were the clouds even in the puny village place? Oh, you think I do so. not remember them, honestly. I think they were, because I remember we already fought them, and I'm pretty right. sure it wasn't in the Hutchtail castle. I mean, if I had to bet, like, I would definitely say they are not in Hutchtail. It's just I don't remember them, so I would have said, you know, they're not in Puny Village either, because we did not fight any of them. Hey, man. I heard a hot dog stand outside, so getting a new menu item. You're That's pretty cool. hot. Crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you out win fights. Come on, Kane K, you're, you're the one who needs all the help you can one. get. Right, we're all good here, yeah, bro. I mean, as as long as you hype us after every fight, I think we win. He should hype us before every fight as well. No, he he knows we got it. Oh, okay. Like he he's afraid that if he started hyping us before the fight. It would feel like, you know, he thinks we're not going to win and we need this. Mm, but he, he doesn't knows want us win. to think he's yeah. a doubter. But he wants to, every time, like, after the fight, tell us we're amazing. Just to show he, he still likes us and he really likes us. Imagine know? having to tell an edge to behave. Oh, I <laughs> How desperate do you have to be? I don't know. It reminds me of this cooking video we saw, actually. Which one? Like the guy doing the, the chocolate cake. Oh yes, he's actually hilarious. Yeah, I, I love he's the guy. so wholesome. Like sadly, I cannot tell you the name of the channel because we completely forgot. Yeah, but he's always saying like have a good night to his food and stuff yeah. like that when he lets it rest overnight. Oh yeah, he was making like a 10 day chocolate cake or something like that. Like, yeah, that it was one. some ridiculously long thing, but it's just because he lets stuff uh, rest yeah, like, basically, overnight. You, he would work like probably three, four hours in the kitchen, maybe if I had to bed per day. And then like he would have to wait a whole day to rest it. 
which honestly, kudos to a guy to have the patience to do it. But yeah, like at some point he just puts the egg on the counter and like it starts rolling and he cracks him. He's like, bad egg, <laughs> bad. And he cracks all of them. Uh, love the guy. Yeah, no, he's actually hilarious. Okay, let's go grab that nasty little egg. Let's go. I like how the rich Bomb family is here on a vacation or something. And they are constantly in the outside lobby. I mean, they, it, like, seeing people fight is beneath them. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. So Which, they're just enjoying the atmosphere outside. I mean, this is some very vacation. fresh air, right? Fair enough, fair. I mean, to be fair, that's true. Like, even if you don't care for the fights at all, it has to be pretty nice to go, like, once in a while up there, like, up in the clouds, you know, see the sights. Let there be hot Let dogs. Let there be hot dogs. What does this? That's just tasteless. Uh, Bill, I you hope the no hot dog humor. isn't tasteless. Uh, yeah, like they're yeah they're tasteless without the egg, Goombella. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's so uh, like he's like okay, I'm just gonna uh, move move on. Yeah, he, he takes the L and he moves on. No sunk cost fallacy here. He's not like, look, I said there was gonna be egg. I'll definitely put it on the menu. Force people to eat a jumping egg. He's just like, look. I took the L on this one. If I keep, if I double down, no one's gonna buy this product, and it's probably gonna hurt my rating. So, yeah, he I'll doesn't let, want to on. get that those zero star reviews on Yelp and uh, wherever you leave reviews. Yeah, I mean, come on. Imagine you go to a restaurant or something, and the egg starts jumping around. I'd be traumatized. Like genuine, I would review the restaurant like app zero. zero. Like if I could, I'm pretty sure one is the um, you know worst one you can put. Yeah, I would no. put one star and in for review say it's actually a zero star. Yeah, like you have to because the food is basically like a hazard at that point. Yeah, but like it's radioactive or something because the egg was jumping around. You're right that it was no FPN that we have to fight uh, the mind bothers again. Well, I this mean, is at least mind they're pretty trash, so. They, they mind boggled you, yeah. <laughs> they did. Like they were so spooky, they mind boggled you and you had no clue what to do. I like how technically, you just took a whole nap after hitting the intercom, so you probably wasted 20 minutes. Hey, Mario's a Chad, he doesn't care. He knows what he's worth, he can keep the fans waiting, he's he's the champ in his heart. I respect that, I mean, come on. Heroes, they know how to make themselves uh, waited or something. No, I think uh, Naruto has a quote like that. Yeah, I, I, like, <laughs> he, he arrives late and he, he says something. It's pretty cool, right? It's what? stupid, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, you read that and you're like, yeah, this like, is hell yeah. nice. It's like this, like at least when you're, you know, like 12, 13 or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want to be cool like this kid when I grow up. Well, I mean, honestly, the first few uh, Naruto, like before he becomes big, they're actually great. Yeah, I, I really do like the um, first, I don't know how many. I think it's before Shippuden, I guess. Dude, I have no clue. Because I don't know if the manga actually changes name. Uh, that's a good point. I, I mean, I never actually saw the show, I just know the manga, and I don't think it changes name. Yeah. But I there's a very distinct point in time where it just like, suddenly changes. Yeah, like, it, it goes basically, like, instead of being a bit more lighthearted, it goes full shonen, basically. Yeah. Which, not really my cup of tea. No. It's and just fight after fight that makes no sense, and like, oh, now there's this... <laughs> <laughs> now there's this cool new power that he can do. It's like, all right, you know, next fight. Oh, here's a cooler power. All right, hey, got it's it. basically Dragon Ball at that point. I mean, it literally, and or Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Uh, the same thing, right? I yeah, feel like before Z, it's a fun thing because like it's fair fights and all, but it's a lot more humorous. And then it's that it's just pure fight after fight. Yeah, and it's interesting that for both, it's like when the main character goes from being a kid to being a base, like a full fledged grown up. I, I see what you mean. For Dragon Ball, for sure, like there's a clear cut, right? Because like it even it's the same name. in Naruto. Like, like they don't cut think five so. years. They cut five years. I personally, I dropped it before that. Like I, I thought it went down too hard before that. Like there's the last arc of that thing is basically like. A, a tournament from Dragon Ball, which is, you know, like, they're not good, in yeah. my opinion, at least. And that's, like, what they have going on, is that's art with the 
a tournament to determine who becomes who moves on to the next level i forgot the names yeah who becomes uh maybe a shinobi i think no no it's like a john or something like that but anyways like it's that entire art in my opinion is too much too fight focused yeah but before that, it's very uh, light-hearted as well. All right, but I, I feel like after that arc, there's still quite a bit before the five-year jump. No, because it's right after... I think it's right after that arc that uh, Sasuke runs away, and that's where the jump occurs. Is it... Because, uh, like, he runs away, and then he gets chased by Naruto now? And then they have a river fight, maybe? Yeah, no, no, they do, and then it's the jump. Okay, okay. So, like, that entire arc right there, okay, well, fair, I guess those enough. are kind of like, two right arcs. Like, right before the five-year jump is basically when it goes bad. Yeah. And then, like, fair, And then fair it enough, just fair. stays bad from there, in my opinion. Yeah. Hey, it's, uh, B-Money, or whatever Yo, his name was. Yo, let's go! B-Money getting in trouble. The Grim Death Burglars. The Hand It Overs. That's so anti-climatic. Yeah, no, that's kind of terrible name-wise. Should have called them the Grim Def Burgers at this point. Uh, yeah, like, come on, bro. He did them dirty. Poor guys. Okay, what do we have to do? Don't, Don't use your ju jump. Just Quake Camera, those guys, honestly. Fair enough. Like, the good thing about these is you always have a bed if you want. So you don't have to be afraid of um, any true. FP use. I wanted to uh, tattle them to see what she had to say. How dare you! These are... Yeah, honestly, these guys, they don't even want to win. They just want to steal from people. This is insanity! Can you not protect yourself? Oh, I wasn't or even trying. Oh, okay. Because at this point, I think we're pretty close to death. So... No, for sure. I'm just curious. If they have 4 HP, they're done for? I really hope they have 4 HP at this point. Well, rest in peace. It's okay, it's okay. We... He doesn't want us using the jump, right? So yeah, we can no do jump. this. Oh, all right, beautiful. We pretty much have to do this at this point because we refuse to go down in the pair rank games. Yeah, no, we do not want to be knocked down. Like, we love you, uh, B Money, but there's a limit to how much we love you. Wait, I forgot. When you lose, do you actually have to do the fight before that? I'm not sure. I'm not Who sure knows. how it goes if you have to yeah, do like defend the, the position or and this. then you go enough. back. Or if you go straight to winning. Or yeah, I'm, beating I'm the sure. person who just beats you. But yeah, Naruto was... I'm pretty sure I quit like during the arc of fighting to become fake Hokage or whatever you want to call it. Like, instance one. Yeah. But then I watched the anime. That was trash, dude. Like, well, I mean, I've never watched it for a reason, okay, but no, I've no, never no, heard no, good like, things about the anime. No, no, like, I had a friend who was telling me, like, okay, okay, look. There's a bunch of filler, right? But just find a website that tells you which episodes are filler. And ignore those episodes, right? I did it. Genuinely, I think I would have preferred the filler, because the anime was pure trash, in my opinion. Yeah, but I mean, at that point, we're kind of retarded. You knew what you were getting into, because you read the manga up to a certain point. Yeah, but I so... liked the beginning of the manga. No, but you should have, like, guesstimated if you didn't want to stick through with what it was becoming. The anime was gonna stitch to the material when it's not filler, right? That's the entire point. No, I watched the one I read. Oh, you watched, watched the, the start. start on... Okay, and the start is bad as it, well? It, like, the anime was pure trash. Start to... Like, I, I did not watch Shippuden, right? I watched, like... Uh, just Naruto, I guess it's called. And it was garbage, in my opinion. Oh, I'm surprised. Okay, yeah, no, no, no I, I thought I, you I meant that to pick Shippuden, back like, up. To, no, because I, I knew Shippuden was bad, in my opinion, right? Like, I knew it was just too shonen for me. Yeah. So I didn't decide, oh, yeah, I'll watch the shonen part and no. see if I like it. Because uh, I was thinking you were actually slow in the head right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not too sharp sometimes, you know, but on that one, I wasn't that bad. But no, um, thankfully, you know, I wasn't too stupid. Watched the, the original, but it was really bad. I think it's just a pacing. Because like in manga, you know, you kind of read at your own pace, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like sometimes you go over the panels really quickly. Especially for fights, in my opinion, like, and it makes the action flow fast, and it takes very little time to read. But in the anime, often, like, okay, 
this whole 20 minutes, that's a fight. And you're stuck watching that. You know, I mean, come on, don't get me wrong. I use a secret technique of hitting the fast forward key a few times. That's good. Per episode. This dog is a cheater. He starts with his attacks, basically. Yeah, no, that's... That's Wait, not This good. is not... Is it oh, good? It's good, it's, it's good, good, it's good. It's good. Well, it's actually useless. Yeah, it's you, but we won't kick out a... Uh, no. Like... He's a fan, he's slow in the head, but he's still a fan, so we, we, like we love him. him. We respect him. Wait, does what a pee and just yeah, and then hope. just Earth Tremor. I'm kind of surprised that Earth Tremor, like, it hits flying enemies, right? Fair enough, if you do good enough. Yeah. But I'm surprised it does the full damage to the flying enemies. It's because it's actually only the final smash that does damage. Fair, but I thought, like, it was combined, you know what I mean? And I so mean, it would in deal theory, like I'm sure you're right, but it's just they didn't yeah, they code they it. They programmed it in a way that it's just the final one that. I'm surprised falls. though that they actually put it so that it reaches a certain. No Ooh. way! So that it reaches a certain height and does. Yeah, fair. And then does like the full whatever it was meant to be. Oh, the. Damn! That's insane. What? Oh my He's still God. alive! This man is insane. I mean, he just wants us to get more appeal. That's very nice of him. I'm guessing piercing should still be able to hit him through this. Hopefully, Hopefully. because he's uh, he's one tough oh, no. nut to crack. Hey, we're getting a bunch of points. We can't yeah. complain too, too much. Hey, wh what's he's this man doing? He no. was a hater. He was a hater this whole time. Get him out. Get him out of my crowd. Oh, I think he ran away. Because we're at 49 instead yeah, of 50. Yeah, then it went to 48. And but then it went Luigi back up. in the crowd? No, there isn't. I was about to say we just got humiliated in front of our kid brother. Yeah, no, th thankfully not. Which raises the question. Yeah? How is he on yeah. his own adventure and in the crowd? Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. Do you think he's faking his adventure? I mean, he has people to back up the fact that he's on true, an adventure. True. Plus, we hate him so much, like, we're probably not lying about the fact that he was there. That's the thing, right? <laughs> but, yeah, that's a good question. Alright, bye-bye, Pauline, or... I forgot. Jolene. Jolene. Same difference, honestly. 